What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today we are talking about the bounty hunter and how much money you can expect to go and get for going to complete a bounty. I have done videos like this before where I talk about how much money you'll need for that summer update when it drops, how much things are expected to cost but with this one we are looking at how much money you can expect to go and get and then we can apply that of the type of money and how much we're going to get and use that as a estimate for the other roles coming to Red Dead Online. So far, Rockstar haven't officially said what you'll be getting money-wise while completing these roles and doing different missions for these roles. They haven't said much about how these missions are going to play out. So with that, we do have to guess a few things, but we're gonna be looking at other stuff and applying what we know already to see what money we'll be getting. We also know that there will be a leveling system. And as you go through that leveling system, that that will maybe affect how much money you go and get and the level of which you'll go and get a bounty but by looking at this picture here this one is more valuable than the other pictures what you can look at when looking at a trader is that he's just holding a bunch of fur which we can assume is probably gonna go to his camp which will then go through the business to go and sell when we go and look at the collector all we can see is the different stuff that he's already got in his person which will most likely be things that are helping him going to find new and exotic items which is what it says and what rockstar have already already put on the newswire but with this picture here the bounty hunter what we have is a picture of someone holding a wanted poster now we can't read it too well because it's facing them there it's the complete opposite way for what we're wanting but if we do go and flip the image what you can see is how much you can get for a reward for going to get this person there is also some more information that you can go and read here so the first thing and the major thing is look for him $60 reward which is a very nice nice amount of money to go and get and we can also assume that this is not a high level bounty because right beside the hand which is holding this poster we can see his second name and also below that we can go and see captured alive if this was a high level bounty you would assume it would be captured dead or alive but it's not it says captured alive it also says strawberry sheriff at the bottom so this is someone that will have to go and take back to the sheriff within strawberry that information is not not too important but now we can start to see the location in which the crime was committed and with strawberry and how there isn't anything too major there what you have is a hotel you have a few houses you didn't have a sheriff's department as well as a post office there isn't gonna be a massive amount of crime within that to do with train robberies to do with bank robberies anything like that within this game because those things aren't within strawberry so by looking at this poster i would assume that this is a mid tier reward for a mid tier bounty now that we know that you can now look at what would potentially be for a lower reward so i would say anywhere between 15 20 dollars is a low bounty reward and then maybe even pushing 80 90 maybe even pushing a hundred dollars we can have ourselves a high tier reward for a high tier bounty this is extremely good money if you are able to go and get it but it all depends on how long the mission or how long it takes to go and retrieve one of these bounties so by looking at previous missions most missions within red dead online whether or not they are a story mission a stranger mission or you are doing a dynamic event maximum amount of time is 20 minutes and i would say it's going to be the exact same thing for these bounties there will be some bounties where it may play out like a treasure map where it's there is a bounty you can go and get this person he was last seen in this location and then you have to go and travel to that location to go and get them it does not take too long to go and travel from one side of the red dead online map all the way to the other side of that map and you can also go and fast travel one way whilst you are trying to go and get one of these people so i do not feel like either way whether or not it's going to act like a mission within red dead online or whether or not it's going to act like a treasure map it will not go and take too long to go and get one of these bounties maximum 20 to 25 minutes so by spending 20 to 25 minutes to go and get a 60 dollar reward is very very good especially with dynamic event stranger missions and also some story missions if you have already played them and you are repeating going through them a second time you only get around about $20 so this is three times as much as what you are normally getting for the missions that we currently have within Red Dead now this isn't also including that we have another two roles 
rewards. One thing that I want to highlight is the trader role. There seems to be a lot of different rewards you can get by progressing through that trader role, with it being the satchel, the companion, the canine companion looks very good, the wagon as well, as well as you can get weapon loggers, which I think will definitely benefit you as a bounty hunter. But with that, there is also a business at camp, and I think the business will be something that you do not need to 100% attend to all of your time. It will be something that where you can go and get some supplies, go and bring it to your business, and over time, those supplies will be put into valuable furs and different stuff that you can go and sell later on. But it will take some time for them to be transformed into supplies all the way into something valuable. So potentially, whilst you are going to collect one of these bounties and potentially going to get yourself $60, you are also potentially being able to go and make money in the background at your camp where you have a business going on and Cribs is taking control of it. At the moment with the collector role, it doesn't seem like there is a business at camp for it. It might be something where you, if you go and set up a business at camp as a trader, you can also go and put stuff that you go and collect through that business as well to go and make a bit more money. It doesn't seem like that is the case as of right now. It seems more like you have to constantly be searching for items. It seems more similar to what you'll get for a bounty hunter role. So with the bounty hunter, you need to go and collect a bounty. Once you go and collect that bounty, you go and get paid. With the collector role, it seems that you need to go and find some different objects, jewelry, treasure, anything like that. Once you go and find that treasure, that is when you can go and sell it to go and make money. With the business at camp, it seems slightly different because you're able to go and get loads of different supplies, go and bring them to camp, and then you have to wait until you're able to then go and sell them on. But it means it's constantly making money within the background. With the collector role, I would assume that you'll be making similar money to what you would do as a bounty hunter. So far, by looking at the information that you can find within the picture for the bounty hunter and also taking a few educated guesses with how long missions are going to take, it's looking like you'll be able to make maybe twice, maybe even three times as much money on Red Dead Online as what you are able to go and make now. Or it will be two, maybe even three times as easier to go and make the exact same money as what you are making now. Either way, you'll be making a lot more money when this summer update comes out. Now, even though that you are making a lot more money, there is also a lot more money going out to go and buy different upgrades, to go and buy different items. We'll still have different clothing and all that stuff, which I have spoken about in previous videos. We also have hunting wagons. Those, I imagine, are going to cost a couple grand. Those are going to be, I think, fairly expensive when you go and look at the upgrades that we already have at the camp and how much those cost. A fast travel post, I've used this as an example before, we're talking about seven, maybe even eight hundred dollars just for a fast travel post and it doesn't really do too much. It doesn't make fast travel free from you traveling from your camp to any other location. You still have to go and pay money to go and fast travel. It's just now you have a fast travel post at your camp. Now we're talking about a wagon that will bring more revenue in because you're able to go and get more supplies. That is going to cost you a lot of money as well as there will be other upgrades as well to do with satchel as well as going into other different roles and also not to mention there seems to be an event within your camp where other players maybe even NPCs will be attacking your camp and that will affect your revenue and you'll have to probably stop what you're doing to attend to that just to make sure that you are continuously making revenue within your camp so there's going to be a lot of stuff to do you'll be making yourself a lot of money with these new roles but it also means that you'll definitely need to go and upgrade them which is going to cost just as much money but anyway guys leave it in the comments down below of what you guys think with these roles and how much money that you'll be making by going through these roles i'm very curious of what you guys think i try to put as many different things together for it to make sense a lot of this stuff is just me guessing but there is also some stuff like the pictures and like also the upgrades the leveling system all that stuff is already stuff that's out there and have been put out there by rockstar but anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going so see ya